What do we got? We got ourselves team one with Atha Woman. If Atha Man went for a female human, it wouldn't look that bad, dude. That's not a bad looking Atha Woman right there. You know what I mean? That mog looks really good. We got ourselves Green Beans as a Necrolord Arcane Mage with Chrissy as a Feral this time and yet again. Chris God as yet another Pala. And we got ourselves Yandex X. <laughs> Yo, them gloves though, dude. He got them new gloves. Interesting. Them boots too. A Jernai. And he's going to try out, so I guess, some of the uh, Frost DK new Anatons. We got us this Blood Gorge on the other team. As on a Holy, we got us a Donut Gaming 4. Uh, 4 is bad. Is that Fortune? Is a Shadow Priest or something? And we got us a Lock Opium. Lock OP Copium. We are missing the fifth on Team 2. But we'll play it out either way, boys. We'll play it out either way. Let me get the Dills players up and running before Kissy gets himself an opener on him. Because Chrissy is just gonna just gonna go. Are you a Necrolord as a feral? Instantly trinket and Chrissy might need to check a keybind or something. Because that instant trinket most likely wasn't hoping that, that would happen. One of these keybinds, one of these macros, probably utilizing use use 13, use 14 in the macro. Gonna be infernal, dropping down by lock OP, trying to get a son of Kissy. This is gonna be able to bust out of there with some movement speed. Playing that Kyrian feral this time on the PTR. Most likely a copy character while they were still Kyrian. Just have some fun with some of the bite builds. Lock OP able to get a couple of come flags around the corner. That infernal chasing after that cat. And Chrissy is not in a great position. Does not have a trinket. As I think a macro might have used their trinket a little bit early during their burst. Probably has like an unused trinket together with their um, Kyrian setup. And most likely has a trinket in that use 13, use 14 slot. So he's most likely using the macro to use the slot for the trinket rather than the trinket itself. So definitely we'll have to take a look at that next time he gets a chance. But Loco P, otherwise known as Kreiser, hitting him without Mordekal. Denying the Feral and Opener is going to be a fear to fall right after. Immolate is available. Chaos Bolt coming up. Is he going to be using any of the new Onatons? Bonza fell. Used together with Kessie. Going to be big damage. Dust Pre Wall and still the damage goes through that wall. That is a ton of damage together with the Chaos Bolt as well as a Bonzo fell. Which binds an enemy in place. And if you run out of that bonded area... We will take fire damage. Actually, everybody in the area will take fire damage. Going to be Shadow Fury onto Kissy as they're trying to get back at the cat from finally trying to get back into some damage opportunities onto against Loco OP. Eating the Chaos Bolt on the side, continue to heal himself in that Restoration Affinity. And Loco P set himself up in a good position to be able to pour it out of the way. Does get interrupted on nature, trying to get a Bonza Fell on the cat. Is going to be able to do so. Needs to walk the cat out of here. Is going to be Trinket. More to call. Chrissy is forced out of the Bonza Fell to take free damage. Super low on health themselves, trying to go for regrows. There goes the Swift Men, trying to maintain themselves. Loco P has a, ca a Cataclysm. I think he. No, never finished out the Cataclysm. I thought he did. Try to see if he can get us some dots on it. Chrissy does get that emulate with Drain Life to follow. So far, this Feral is under quite a bit of pressure. And Lock OP, even though Warlocks haven't really got any new Honor Towns or Legendaries yet, they are able to get themselves quite a bit of um, uh, quite a bit of pressure with the Honor Towns they got last week. I really want to see some Affliction gameplay out of Lock OP. Maybe even Demonology, dude, because we never really see the pets as Bonza fell. Oh, force of damage. Chrissy's forced to run, but if they run, they're going to take damage either way. Literally no answer. I guess the Warlock tries to go for a trinket. It is a late trinket, and Lock OP has a come flag to slam him down. Yandex Axe is going to be up next. Frost DK. I wonder what Anatans is running on his Frost Death Knight. If he is running any new ones, is going to summon up the pet. Try to see if he can get a grip onto Lock OP. Is going to bail out of there with the port try to go for chain of ice onto the pet does he have the chain of ice that's um does he have the chain of ice that's uh that also puts a haste debuff he might actually i am interested is he running the haste chain of ice debuff can somebody yeah add them in. can you check his honor town see if he's running anything new just like whisper me in discord if he's running anything new it's going to be AMS for the Infernal that's coming down. Yandex got himself plenty of damage rolling onto Lock OP Copium. It's going to drop down the Anti-Magic Zone to keep him a little bit more defensive. It's going to be walked out of there with a Mortal Coil. It's going to have to go for a bit of extra shield. The Slime Shield does go through. Silence onto Lock OP. The, Deem the Death Knight Silence goes through. Caswell tried to fly out. That's going to hit Yandex. The Silence is a minute CD on an Honor Town. And I think it doesn't even take a Runic Power or anything. Which could be really, really good for your Auntie Addicts. Does he have a Lichborn for it? Could go for a Lichborn. Is going to go for a Lichborn. Going to be 
the bonds are fell dropping his health down a bit but this man is stalwart continuing to move versus lock op if he can get a good chain of ice on a guy i don't know if he's running the auto town debuff the haze debuff because there's one on town where you put a chain of ice on an enemy it also reduces the haze by like 12 percent and you could frost strike to continue extending the chain of ice and the haze debuff big K as well get it set up for yandex does he have an answer after this cataclysm following that that's gonna be him still staying alive though ams up has a chain of ice into lock op copium if you can keep him perma slowed as well as a haze debuff it could be huge lock op does get away from him for a second as Yannick channels a full flash cap. Just went through every single one of his defenses to deal with his damage. That's going to be Vanza Fell. Try to explode into the Necrolord shield. But looks like he did a bit of damage, but not the most. Lockerpy does sacrifice a portion of his health to give himself a shield. Going to be a full stun with the, <laughs> with the uh, Frostworm's Fury. Stun onto Lockerpium after that stun. Silence to follow. Lockerpy actually silence for a good six seconds, I believe. And that's going to be extra grips coming in for Yandex. Accidentally gripping in the monk, but not much he can really do. The hand chooses who the hand chooses. You know what I mean? Laukopi getting some drain lights behind the pillar, though. Could maybe go for the second of seduction, potentially. Does he also have the stun with remorseless winter? I don't know if he does, but it's going to be a fear onto Yandex. Big damage for Laukopi Copium. Has the grip available. Is going to lich board out of the fear at the last second. That's going to be a bit of extra dot damage. Yandex does the AMS and the silence comes down onto Laukopi. Actually able to kind of deal with him fairly easily. Interrupt him on Shadow. That's going to be full Cataclysm, though into anti-magic shell yandex still has plenty of damage rolling here fear trying to come out for loco p is gonna walk yandex out of what looks like bonds of fell breaking him out of the fear loco p is actually kind of low on health looks like the death that has been able to just outlast a caster for quite a bit looks like turning around and starting to hit the succubus while letting dry the drive go through stun into loco p has a trigger for it more to call maybe could get a setup does he have a port i think he has a port set up he wants to bait out yandex there goes the full infernal coming down flesh cut available reflect up for local p copium has the port available if he needs to if yandex can some catch up to him he'll be in a great spot chain of ice getting broken by the port a local p making some distance asap yandex if he has a grip or anything he'll be in a great spot bonds of fell coming out yandex is just going to keep walking at him he doesn't care for the bonds of fell he actually doesn't care wall available for local p dropping down has himself the movement with the soul shape grip comes out big grip coming out for yandex after if he can only just get in line inside of local p copium he can grip him back down looks like he won't be able to local p continuing to run yandex just needs a few more globals to end this duel just a few more globals necessary to end the duel chain of ice to local p doesn't drop the machine Shadow, no ports available for a second. There goes the port. If only he had a silence for him as well. Chain of ice rolling. More to call. Yannick's gonna hit with a fear. No way out of it for now. He just needs one more, one more grip. Just one more grip in order to catch up to Loco P. Just one more. Chain of ice is rolling. Kevin Slime is shooting. Loco P actually able to catch up a little bit. How does get a second seduction through AMS? Wait, how is he getting it through AMS? How is he getting stunned through AMS? I don't understand. It's going to be a silence on a lock of P dropping down, trying to get away from the death knight. DK does not have cooldowns rolling back just yet. Big old port available for lock OP. Yandex chasing after him ASAP. This man is actually feeling so much tankier than ever before. I don't think I've seen Frost Death Knights sustain them. So oh, getting a stun through behind the pillar of lock OP Copium. I've never seen Yandex and Frost Death Knights be this tanky against a Jester Warlock. Looks like a little bit of lag hitting Yandex. He is still okay though. He's still hanging in. Succubus CC rolling in. Lichborn available. Grip onto Lock OP Copium. Does send him a chain of ice immediately. Gonna be Bonzafell trying to come out for Lock OP with a soul rot as Bonzafell get interrupted. Cataclysm. Bonzafell will be an easy go. Stun onto Lock OP Copium. Fear to follow. Drake inside of that stun. Big Chaos Bolt rolling in. Yannick has a bit of a shield. Anti Magic Zone with a Fleshcraft available. No way to interrupt Fleshcraft. Lock OP does bail away with a port. Yannick just needs himself a few more globals. Local P doesn't have a lot of health to work with. Battle Masters is down. It's going to use the soul ship to try to get away. Just needs to get some dots on him. Local P is recovering health little by little. Needs to get some kind of dot on the guy or anything. Yannick is using whatever mobility he can. Mounting up to try to see if he can catch up to the Warlock. He knows there's going to be a gateway out of it. Yannick's getting hit with a succubus seduction. Gasbo flying out with Shadow Fear right after him. Does Yannick have any answer for this? Bonzafell is going to stop him in place. Mordecai trying to run him out. Actually ignores it with AMS. AMS is the bonds of fell. Like opium is going to dip down. Actually goes for a port. And the oh, yeah, Death Knight is not in a bad position. Try to see if he can chase up to uh, Lock OP. Grippy hand comes in. Lock OP does go for a massive shield. Those silence onto Lock. That's going to be more grippy for Yandex. 
Just needs a little bit more damage. Loco P is just not in touch him at all. Yandex just needed one more global. That's all he needed. And he just couldn't do it for one reason or another. And now he decided that he's going to beat up the succubus. I don't know if that's the best choice, but he decided to do that. Inferno slamming down as the Frost from Fury comes in. Stump for stun. Pets for pets. Loco P does get interrupted yet again. Yandex just is, has him on the ropes. He just needs to end it. He just needs to finish it. Bonza fell. Loco P Mo is going to hit him with a mortal cold trink inside of it. I think Yandex must be lagging even a little bit. There must be just a semblance of lag. I actually waited too long to run out of Bonza fell and it didn't explode. Second Casbo lining up as Yandex does get himself another set of... What are these shields, by the way? What is this random AMS going on? Uh, he's just using AMS while he stunned or something. Is that what's happening? Or maybe that's the... You know what it is? It's probably the new honor talent. Atham and send me a picture of his new honor talents. Nothing new? No, Atho, no way. Atho, that silence is new. Atho, do, Atho, just send me a screenshot of his honor talents, my guy. I will know exactly what it is. There's a lot of new stuff here. <laughs> if you're looking at, or if Green Beans, if you can do that. Kiss God, anybody on that team. Talking about Feral? No, 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 no. I was talking about like the DK. Yeah, no, no, I was talking about the Death Knight. Yeah, if you could just send me a screenshot of the new honor towns that DK is running just so I can see. Because I think I know what this is. I think he's running the new thing with the uh, damage reduction from magic abilities. Every time he gets hit by a spell, he has a chance to get a shield. Which is why it looks like an AMS that can be CC through. Lock OP, I'm kind of getting low. It's going to be a Lichborn for Yandex. Has he getting hit with fear? Lock OP, I'm trying to go for a big old port. Yandex finds himself super low in health. That's going to be a bit of a shield with the death pack. Grip on to Lock OP, Copium. him. Stuns him for a second. Does he have anything to follow? Loco P jumping down has a port available for sure. Yeah, yeah, spell warden. Yeah, that's what it is. Spell warden. That's the extra thing that looks like AMS shield because it literally has the same thing as AMS shield. There we go. Spencer got actually full on a that I can see right here. Yeah, he's running all new stuff, but it's actually pretty cool. Yandex does go down to Loco P coping in the end though. I feel like this man had the perfect opportunity to get the kill right there. I feel like he had the perfect build. I think there was some lag though. I really do think there was quite a bit of lag though. Which is a bit unfortunate. I think there was actually a lot of lag. Ash and Hala coming down for Atho to not let Loco P Copium hang out by the pillar. And actually, I think that's where you might want to chase after him. Although with all the slows from the succubus, I don't think Atho is going to be able to do much here. Does have judgments to remove some uh magic effects off of him. So that is gonna help. Loco P just trying to be OP, man. Trying to be OP with a soul shape. Mortal Coil into Atha. Fear right after. Yeah, I feel like Yandex actually had himself the perfect lineup to duel a caster. The Silence. He had the Spell Warding, which is the Rune of Spell Warding applied to your character. But 100% value. Big damage out of Atha. But it's going to be Sucking the CC stopping him. No adaptation to break out of it. Uh, it's going to be Loco P porting away. Atha and tried to port to him. Door of Shadows. Loco P bails out of there with a gateway. He has himself the perfect setup. Atha continues to chase after him. And her freedom actually dips under. As Loco P gets the shield. Like maybe Atha and Lorraine out of cooldowns. Is that why? Loco P has a sun around the corner with a Kyle Cousin to follow. It's going to be Bonza fell as well. Atha can't actually walk out of it unless a Mortal is available. Does Loco P walk him out of it? Fears him. It looks like Bonza fell dissipates before the fear can walk him out of it. Big old Casbah sent it Atha. Has a shield of vengeance for it. And does Locke have enough damage to finish it here? Looks like Bubble's still available for Atha. We are at 13, almost 14 minutes into this duel. 53% dampening, so not a lot of healing going to be available for either one. Mortal Call again sent Atha. If only you can somehow judgment right before that thing hits you, then you might be able to dispel yourself from it. I believe. But Atha is playing the Dispel Judgment ability, which is quite good. I think it's going to be even better for group gameplay, but for solo gameplay, at least it take, gives the gives the damage off of him. It's going to be a... Oh, I think he is Adaptation. Wait, I think Atherman is Adaptation. We just don't see it because that was a trinket. It was CC and it was like almost instant like it's Adaptation. I think he is Adaptation. It just it doesn't show up on the UI well. It shows up the Guided Medallion Trinket. But Atho, I'm pretty sure it's adaptation because there's no way you could human racial out of that. Plus, you wouldn't have the same like Alliance Crest animation over your head. Shadow Fury onto Atherman with the Bonza Fell to follow. Kind of keeps him in place. That's going to be a bubble to break out of Bonza Fell and break out of the damage that Bonza Fell would do. Lock OP. Got that mobility as a Night Fae. Hodge by Atho. Does he have the way to finish it? Wreck comes out. That's going to be Succubus CC. Stuns the Succubus CC. Which is so good for him. But Lock does break out of a stun and goes for a gateway immediately. Atho just needs a few more globals to take him on. 
A lock up is gonna bait out the uh bait out the uh the Venthyr teleport. And most likely it has a teleport back up if it needs to. Big old chaos bolt soul rod available. Azuma takes lots of damage and barely any health left. It's gonna be him going down as like a peak opium just does increased damage. Bust out that shield to give himself a little bit of extra value. Might have to reset up a portal. But looks like Team Loco Picopium, Team Chrysler, is doing just fine with just four people. They're doing A-OK. -okay. Who's up next? It's either going to be Green Beans or Kiss God. I think Green Beans is looking at Kiss God, but he might just have to be the guy to go. Might just have to be the guy to go. That's really, really cool, by the way. The on the honor challenge for the Frost DK. So what is that one that looks like a a, a, a helmet? It looks like a, like a metal helmet. I think it's either the one where the chain of ice haze dropped or is the one where Ramosa's winter stun, but it no longer has like no, I think it is the haze stuff. Deathborn available for green beans. As they try to go for it, it's gonna be lockout by the succubus trying to go for another deadborn setup. Rune of power and everything available. Lock up Copium is gonna go for a reset. Green beans, did he just chain of ice a pet? We just chained that pet, by the way. Oh, the pet is chained from the death net earlier. Is that what that is? That was some chain of ice from earlier. Gonna be big damage onto green beans though. And barrage reflected back to him. Oh no! Did Lock Up just reflect the right abilities and just bust down biggest damage one cares about Bonza fell reflect? Oh my god, that happened so quick. <laughs> Even the mage, she forgot to ice block by the looks of it. Crazy. Shield of Endurance available for Kiss God as Loco Pete. Port's out of the way, gonna be a slow, has the port back up and available because God being a paladin, not super amount of mobility. Hand of Freedom was used, drop down Infernal on his head. Bubble getting used really early at 71% dampening. Trinket available for Loco Picopium has the soul shape, man, the mobility. Yo, Bonzafell is really weaving really well into the Destro War play style, by the way. That thing is weaving really, really well. I think everybody's going to be using it. That seems really strong. Throws a Mordekal into his face just to make sure that the turn evil does not get its full value. Fear onto Kiss God. Off of that burst. Has an Immolate Soul Rod. Is going to get a burst off. Oh, oh no. It looks like Bonzafell did not proc, but Kalako P just had him in a place. Had him in a good position. They just needed a bit of burst there. Dude, that was a million damage. Dude, that death knight, by the way, that looked cool. I just feel like the guy lagged or something wrong happened wrong there, but I feel like he had the perfect setup to win that duel. Chrysler is not an easy guy to duel against, right? That's where it looks pretty nutty, 9-1 in particular, but it looked like Frost DK was just living for so long.